Who is King David? Where is Jerusalem? And what? who are the chosen tribe of the Israelites? Okay, King David is in fact a a divine identification. This is not the name of the king. David is, is a divine identification. And as I will show you in code, there are lots of divine identifications. But we'll, we'll start with this one and we'll work through to, to find who Solomon is um, and, and everything associated with it. So our first is a divine identification. Well, who, who or what, what would be a, a divine identification? Uh, when I say this, <laughs> This is actually code because that is also ad the vine. Same as the word divine. When you switch the, the I and the D, become ID the vine. Okay, the vine is of the. Of the <laughs> and what I'm going to identify is the tree the, as, well, as well as the vine. The tree of the, of the tribes. The ten lost tribes of Israel, or Israel, as you said, you'll know it as we stand. But um, let's, let's move on. Okay, so we're looking for a, to ID. Well, firstly, let, all right, let's ID the Bible. Well, the Israelites, as they're, they're put into the Bible, are actually not who we think they are. None of this happened in the Middle East. And don't, don't take any part of this on face value because of each code, because there's, there's so many codes, as you'll see, that make this impossible to be coincidence. Okay, so let's ID the vine. So the vine, uh, the Israel lights. <laughs> I use the, word, the, the U here, and using this as phonetic of Israelites. And you'll see why. Because the first thing we do, there's, there's a mention of a passage in the Bible, or something, I, I, I don't ask me where it is, it is in the Old Testament, but you can Google these things. But it says, it says the lies in the sanctuary. Well, the sanctuary is in fact the church. Okay, and there are the lies. So the lies, and I, I know this isn't going to sit well with people, but truth is truth. There's the lies in the sanctuary. So if we remove the lies and the sanctuary, or the cross, because it's all deception, everything we know is about, well, you'll see it will turn on its head. So what the, what they, what the, who these people actually are, are the is rules. And there's a reason for his rules, because they followed his rule. And this will become apparent as we move on. <laughs> right, in the beginning was the word, and the word was yeah, actually Yahweh, um, and, the, and the word was good, just to put it, but here we go. So everything, this is all about word, and, and I'm about to show you into the, the Amtrix matrix, because it's Amtrix in, the, in a matrix, in a construct Zion, or Zion. The first thing we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to rearrange these letters, and this will tell us who the Israels are. They are a tribe called the Siluris. They're actually a tribe of South Wales. Okay, um, uh, I, I decoded the, the ten tribes of or ten lost tribes of Israel plus, plus the, the, the ones on top, but I'll, I'll move on to that as we go. But the, the main, the, the cent, there are two at the center of this, and the tribe of Reuben, which I'll, I'll, I'll work on later, which actually gives you the prophecy of the end times as well, um, and and. And we'll work up to basically how you get how well what's coming and what we got to do to get out of it and how, how how we can be saved by by the Yahweh the Creator Himself. 
Okay, so we know the tribe. Now we have to fit this with G uh, with with Jerusalem. Okay, uh, we'll we'll get to the, 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 the there's more than one divine ID, but we'll 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 work it through as it comes. So, okay, so the Siluries. If I can just remove this. Are the vine. Okay. The Siluris lived where <laughs> in the place where I found myself living in, in a caravan, incredibly. It's a long story, but let's get into the code rather than, than, than my side of things at the moment. Okay, so the Siluris lived in a big <laughs> alleged Roman fort in a place called Kaiwent. Kaiwent was known as Venter Silurum. Okay. So how does this relate to Jerusalem? Well, I will, <laughs> I will show, show you. Basically, we take the word Silurum. I will show you how Inventor was added shortly, because that's written in the stars. As crazy as that sounds, but they, it really is. Okay, so Silurum. Okay. So what we're going to do, exactly as we did to get the Silurese, the Silurese living in, in, in Silurum makes sense. But what we actually, what it actually, its real name was until it was changed, and I'll explain this as we go on, how, how this happened and why. But what we have is R U S I L U M. So we have Rusillum, okay? If I was to have, add, add this to it, even though it isn't this, and this is the big contention, we have Jerusalem. Okay, but however, the JE is a deception. How do I know this? Well, I have been designed to finally show this that there is a constellation called G. Rus. Okay, now I'm going to take the Rus Silum and now I'm going to combine them both, which will effectively give you. Jerusalem. This is the real name for Jerusalem, as we, we know it. I've been lied to and told this is in the Middle East, but it's not. It's a mock up, along with oh, pretty much everything. Everything we've been told is a lie. Poor perpetrated. Well, I'll show you who it was perpetrated to by now. So let's move this up. So we have the Silures in Jerusalem. Well, the, Is the Israelites, uh, Israelites, <laughs> and Ra, the God of Egypt, this is all connected. And the, uh, Jerusalem is your J. Rus Alem, interesting name, notes the word sail in there. <laughs> um, okay, so we've got the Cyrus Jerusalem, now we need King David. <laughs> right. So here we have the Dave, the ID, but we've ID the vine. Now we have to ID what, what, the, what the divine ID of for the actual King David. Well, King David, or the divine identification, and it doesn't come much more divine than this, is Ark of God. <coughs> Now, obviously, as I say, you don't get much, you don't get any more 
any more of a divine identification than being the ark, the ark of the a ark of God or a God ark, whichever. But either way, this is what it is, and this is. And now I'm about to reveal to you who David is, or the divine identification. And the, and this person actually ruled from Jerusalem over the Silures or the Israelite tribe. So his name was King. Uh, Rad Dog King Karadog King Karadog of Siluria. So King Karadog of Siluria, this is all checkable, ruled over the Siluris in, in Kiowent or Jerusalem. Um, and, and obviously, like I say, these are all divine identifications. So the Israelites of Siluris, the tribe. Jerusalem is obviously the place. King Karada is, uh, is is King David. Okay. The decoding, which is this, is where it gets even more strange. Or more, well, I say strange is not strange. It's absolutely incredible, divine, create created wisdom. <coughs> My, the way I decoded the tribes, all te the ten tribes. I decoded there were there are actually five Welsh, two Cornish, uh, well one Devon, one Cornwall, and three in what is England, and all five. So effectively, it's five English and five five Welsh. Okay, I'll come to Egypt being Cornwall shortly. Okay, so the divine IT. So um, yeah, so the, the ninth ninth tribe is in fact. <laughs> Simeon. Now I'm going to draw that in lowercase and put that there. And what you effectively have is me in Sion, not this one. This is this is the this is the the, the Zorod, the cross state, the zeroed, the the, 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 the the wicked ones version of the same thing. And this is where Zion comes from. Okay, it's, it's a mock-up of the real Zion. I will, and I will show you where. Uh, and Zion is actually another code for uh, a sign on. Now, the letters I've had it added to make sign on a G and N. When you look at the periodic table and you look for the what GN, the symbol GN stands for, it's actually GIN. <coughs> what has that got to do with, 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 with Jerusalem? Well, in the end times, he, 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 you can check the passages if you just Google Jin and Snare. There is a Jin and, the jin and Snare of, of Jerusalem, or Jerusalem becomes the Jin and Snare. Well, firstly, it's the G in the Snare, because it's all laid out as a trap that's been basically running from the beginning of time when this was all spoken out. So the G in the Snare. This involves rabbits or, or symbolic rabbits running into tunnels at some point and coming out and getting snared in their own in their own trap. But we'll move on to that as we go on. So G and so Sion is actually the, is is actually a code for for the sign on is the G G N which is the G, G in the snare or the G in the snare. I'm the G in the snare and the G, snare of Jerusalem is the G. Rusillum, there's a G in the snare. You can also put it, well, we'll come to the phoenix, but phoenix actually decodes as one fix. But I can also put the E in there, so I've got the Rus Illum Inati, illuminated ones as well. Okay. Uh, right, okay, moving on from that. So now we know who King David was, or what it, or who he is, where he ruled from, 
and uh, and and obviously the the, the ninth tribe being the the Sinus or who the real is. Israelite chosen people are. There's a lot more to this, and you, as we'll see at this point, I'm sure people will think, yeah, okay, it's pretty, you know, it's pretty good, but, 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 but you'll see as we go on, this becomes even more like these codes. And believe me, I did not decode. I, I did not. I have not got the intelligence to work their stuff out. And I, with King David, I woke up six o'clock one morning, knew the entire formula. From where it, well, I don't, you know, for no, well, without looking at anything, none of this you can find in books, and and it just automatically opened up. <sighs> right. Okay, the next one. Let's go with Solomon. Okay, the first thing is the wisdom of Solomon, and to know where Solomon's kingdom is, you need to be. Wise. Okay, the wisdom in is is well, knowing that, that I turn to the Creator. He downloads downloads the or the, I, or I, I clock into or, or plug into the matrix somehow, or arc into it. Um, and and this is this is where all this 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 wisdom this, this non wisdom comes from. Okay, so the first we're going to identify is the kingdom. So the kingdom is. Wales. This is where Kyle went. Ventus Ayurum sits in Wales. In there we have the S E A L. We have the seal. So that's the seal of Solomon is on Wales. This will make more sense when you see the map, or I do the map, show the map decode that I've done, which puts a great big star of Solomon or the Star of David, or the Divine Identification, and a million, well, so many other things in this map, it's unreal, but let's break it down one step at a time. So the next one, so I'll underline this one because that one is, is important, this is the seal. <laughs> and it was sealed by a S-A-L-E, a sail. And this is recorded in the J E Rue Regret Salem. Not only was it a sail, but they they, they basically sailed. Obviously, they lost Solomon doing what, what he did, running off with his seven hundred wives and three hundred concubines, which are the wives uh, actually the church churches he allowed to be be constructed, whatever or. And the 300 concubines all represent the um, associated gods and religions, that the false gods and religions, which is ultimately why the Siluris were, were basically the fallen, or the, if, well, they, they, they were the, the, the measure of his rule. This is another reason why they called his rule. And his rule being keeping at the Sabbath day. Uh, his rule is actually written in the land. Or in the in the river nearby, but I'll I'll come to that and let's just I'll just try to stay on track. So we have Wales. So we all, next one we have is Ireland. You can probably see where this is going already. Scott land and England. As for Wales, oh, the, the the seal being put on the sail, and the and the and the the the, 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 the main tribe or the measure of his rule, the, the, um, which which was the, were the Silures, it's also Wales tells you what happened. Well, what what happened to them, and they were divorced by the Creator. Going off worshiping other gods took everything for granted. Basically, no appreciation, and he had enough, and he divorced them. Well, this made them was L. Wales is an anagram of was was L. And then this this is where it gets incredible because was L L actually is L 
Ho. Uh, sorry. Hello. Him. The Bible has been just totally and utterly attacked, destroyed. I don't know what the word is, but yeah, I knew it was going to happen, and he's put so he's done it in his own, in his own. Um, well, he, he, nobody can do what I'm about. What I'm about to show you, the, 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 and it's not a little bit; it's a lot. In fact, it's difficult to know where to go with to start with this. But I'm going to show you exactly where all this is written into creation, and it's mind blowing. Okay, well, the first message <laughs> that, that we'll get here: we know that Wales is a seal. The seal was put on it. The, the seal of um, what's the word? The seal of his fate, if you like. And then they became uh, obviously it was a sail Solomon. We'll reveal at some point during this. Um, Solomon was responsible for the he sealed their fate by the sale of Jerusalem and sold out to the churches. Brought, basically, took seven hundred wives churches, which is, all comes down to the word clan <laughs> in Welsh. Clan means church. But it's all, but the double L is a, is, is a deception. It, it, it's the, the double L is, and the way you phonetically pronounce it is clan, clan. Well, clan is simply clan. So what they did is effectively allow. Well, what's happened over time is that they have basically hidden the clans and. Put churches on the land where the clans were, and made this word into church. Okay. Again, don't take this as red. I know Welsh people will argue this and say, "No, no, it's not. It just means church." But as you'll see, there's a lot more to this that's been revealed to me. Okay. So just to, right. Okay. As if this couldn't. Okay. This is getting. So we know the wise kingdom. Uh, we know what they were at Elohim, they fell because this person in solo, Mon incidentally, <laughs> this word gets incredible, Mon, because Kaya went, the Siluries, um, and all, all the things I'm showing you are all in Monmouth Shire, the kingdom of Mon. And, so I'll, and again, I'll come to this because this again comes down to the temple because there is a temple <laughs> in Kaya went also. Which would make it, and it be the only temple in Mon, would make it Solo Mon's temple. I actually lived there when I was brought into this world. I spent four months in my mother's womb and three months out, and my parents lived actually on the grounds of the temple. You couldn't, which is also incredible, and is all part of what we, 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 how this all comes about because it was all pre-planned, as I will show you. Okay, so we also now have. A message within these named places. And this message is R E C O N G. O C O N and G. So what G would I recall? Well, a recon, it's not only talking to me because I, I, well, as you'll see as time goes on, I'm the G in the code, basically, living at that and live literally across the road from the walls of Jerusalem. But recon and find G, Rus, the stars, and then the Silurum making the Silla. So it's recon G to find the G and the G, Rusillum. Okay, no coincidence, all makes sense. So we've got the kingdom, it, it basically is Great Britain, it's, it is, it's, it's the land of his rule. Because written in place names, and as I say, first you're going to say, it, well, you'll see as we go on, that this is, pro this is all, you know, coincidence, and this, you know, but you can only put coincidence thing so many times before it becomes impossible to be coincidence. Okay, there is messages written in the land. Oh, the first one I'll show you is <laughs> just up from Kaiwen, where this Roman fort is. I don't know many about 
seven miles, I suspect, or six to seven miles down the road, is a place. <laughs> well, they, they, I'll do them in order. First one is a place called. Kenny's inferior. You can check this on the map if you Google it, put Gwent, just look down uh, across towards to head towards Newport. Um, there's a, yeah, Ken, Ken, is it Ken? Sorry. <laughs> Is it Kenny's Kimi or Kimi's? But either way, it's me. K E Y S. Me keys inferior. In other words, these are small keys, relate or smaller keys, because I'll show you. Well, the, the keys to Solomon's kingdom are alphabet keys, which I will I'll, I'll disclose obviously as, as we go on. But the me keys inferior. So the me keys. The first one. The next one along. The, 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 the scattered keys is a place called on the same road heading towards Coent or Jerusalem. It's called Lang Stone. Okay, this is uh, it's two things actually. If we move the S to the front, we get slang tone. This relates to one of the tribe. Uh, it's the tribe of Naphtali, which is Neph. You switch the A, the E, and the A, you get Nephtali, and then the tribe is the all, all, all devices, which is the Welsh tribe. So Nephtali, all do all devices. So that that one's the seventh tribe. So that's also also part of my um, instruction as well, being being the G, because G was also the seventh letter of the alphabet. It's the seventh and holy one. Okay. Um, so not only is it that we got the slang tone that relates to that, but this, the word tone is also the word note. And what, and you'll see where this comes in next. So in reality, it should be the other way around, it's note slang. Okay, so the next place I'm going to decode on, the, on, the, on this line, it's got to have a slang word in it. <laughs> Well, it does, and it's pretty incredible. Because the next place, and believe me, nobody is more shocked to find these things than me, is a place called Park Seymour. Well, it's telling us to note slang, so it, well, I already know the key code, so I will tell you. So the note next, so the, the slang is. Yeah, yeah, it's the word yeah. Okay, there it's where it gets amazing. And we can do it either way, yeah, I'll do it. Okay, let's go M A R C O. <laughs> Marco, yep, Marco, R, U, S. Confirmation, so you've got your slang, note the slang, so the slang is yep, so there's no arguing that one to say, oh, well, you know, yep is not really yes, he's telling, he's telling you in advance that there's a note slang, there's a slang word in the next place. Well, it, well it's yep, Marco, Roos. Well, Roos is only, uh, as it stands, the only, well, apart from people who followed Sayuri's 2020 on Facebook, which I've currently been banned off, so I'm obviously hitting the right notes. Um, Ru it's known as Ventus Ayura, which has no, con well, on the surface, no connection to Roos, but obviously I've found it, and it is, it's G. Roos Sidham. So this, not, not only, well, not only puts the, the person that's got the keys inferior, gives you the... Uh, you know, and, and this goes on and on as well. It's like, I'm going to 
going to do these videos one by one just to let you get the, the, the these sort of sunk in and go over them yourselves and see see but like i said this this goes off in so many different directions it's um in fact let's do while we're on the subject let's do the star uh, right <laughs> this is written in the star code if you look at sort of the pillars of the freemasons on the top of each pillar, one one side has got a a, a, a globe, or, or the a, you know a map of the Earth, and on the opposite side, it's got a map of the stars. And there's a, even that has got a code, an ancient code written in it. I'm not even sure they know what it means, but I certainly do. As, and I'll come to that as we go on. Okay, but we know. But, but I can assure you, what it relates to is 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 the, is the decoding. Of the, of the, in fact, I'll just show you briefly. You've got, effectively, you've got the Masons sort of, I don't know, sign it, you know, the, the ancient, this is ancient, ancient <laughs> signs. I don't, like I say, I'm not sure whether they, they know or not, but effectively, I don't know, I've got a smiley face on it. And then you've got the moon on that side. Um, and right, this is right. If <laughs> going by the mason's arch in the middle of the arch, the keystone. No, I'm not very good at drawing. Bear with me. In fact, is the symbol of cancer. <laughs> okay. You've got the pillars on this side. One with the picture of planet Earth, or, or Earth, plane of Earth, and on this side you've got all the pretty star constellations and what have you on there. Well, this is all relevant. Well, the first thing is, the, 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 well, I'm, I'm born, well, my birth time is cancer. I was born on the 30th of June 1970. But what this tells you, what this actually represents, is and, and I'll, I'll get on to the other bits and pieces you've got the ark and everything else down here which is pretty obvious it's to do with the ark but cancer the star sign cancer also reveals the location of where the ark and the covenant is as i'll get on to um, as we move on basically what you've got here is the sun but it has a face on it so it's a sun solo moon is sol moon sol like the solar solar is the sun sol and moon well sol and moon and solo sol and moon is part of the first part of it which is where you get all you do when you switch in the o across so you've got solomon so the one who basically the one who uncodes solomon will be it's got a face because it's a sun of the moon sign cancer cancer is in fact a moon sign <laughs> This is where it gets crazy, because if we put our fingers into Cancer and we turn it, turn it up that way, not only do I put my palms up when doing it, it releases, because palms, thumbs up, releases what is in the Bible coded as Psalms. <laughs> Psalms is L's maps. L is short for angel. So by turning this, the one who turns it puts his palms up to heaven, asks for forgiveness, comes right basically, is 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 has been downloaded with the angels' maps or the ability to decode them, hence we find in my name and 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 when you see the well, there's so much to see with this, it's it's unbelievable. In fact, I'll show you where all this leads. It leads into a symbolic Solomon's mind, which won't make sense at the moment, but it will as we progress. Solomon is basically, it's, it's the, the, the Mediterranean, actually Gibraltar, I'm not going to say this is rubbish really, but you've got all this and then you've got a big boot that comes down. This is this is Gibraltar, G-I-B-R-Alter. So this is Ra's altar. 
and this is owned by the Canaanites, which is England, but I'll, I'll, I'll explain all that, because, because Canaan Egypt and what is <laughs> they call it Judea. The J did not exist until the 16, 1600s at least. So, but so in reality, it would be it, it's not. It's Judea. That's what it should be called. So we'll go with their spelling for the moment, just to keep it simple. Judea. Well, as you can see, is a K E Y because it is in fact a alphabet key. Okay, and this is recorded <laughs> incredibly. <laughs> Basically, I'm going to take a trip later to Florida. As crazy as that sounds, but we go Florence, St. Florence, Wales, to Florida, St. Florence by 10, <laughs> 10 B, 10 by. Then we're going to jump and skip across the Unicorn, Unicorn Mon, which is Monoceros, the, the star system is called Unicorn Mon, because the biblical unicorn is from Mon, and I'll, I'll show you where that comes in in shortly but we're going to skip across uh, skip around we're going to go shooting across america with my names all over it down to south america which is an incredible message that you could you really couldn't make up and and effectively this lead this, this leads down to a rope down to down to the canary islands because canary is tweaked in fort aventura is our future event the canary islands is the canary tweeting and the palmer is all a map so when you decode those, it's telling you that, that the canaries in the mine is tweeting, basically. There he is. <laughs> Letting you know there's a warning. What's happening on the Palmer right now, even though it's going to die down, is a warning to what is to come. But, like I say, as time goes on, this is the route that we're able to use <laughs> to get out of this mine, and it comes up. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll progress to that. But there you've got Ra's altar. Um, you got the false light of Rome shining in the in and this is mine. This is this is this is humanity in the darkness. Over here we got the Hebrews, which is actually coded. Not only is it a Hebrew language, because he brewed it, he is Canaan, but it's also there's a spider in the mine, a European spider, the EU spider of EU rope. <laughs> and this is where the rope comes in. But this spider is, is, is made her webs, which is an anagram of he, that's a B, I don't know, I'm just do it like this is, this is her webs which is a simple anagram of the Hebrews. So this is the story of the Hebrews that are basically is designed to keep you over in the Middle East and, and, and uh, in, <laughs> symbolically Greece is here because the New Testament is the Greece to take you to the ceiling, but the ceiling that you can never pass and always slide back down. This is, this is all, all part of the false light of Rome. Shining because the only light in the darkness of us working, Egypt's buried at the bottom, or the fake Egypt is buried at the bottom down here. And there's oh, there's all sorts of messaging in this, but the spider's web is, is her webs. Well, her is, is, is the church, is the canon. We're just the, the C is the female, the C is the female of the king. So the canon and the canon are one. That they just pretend to be two, the three headed eagle of Daniel. But that's we'll get again, that's further on if we stick to this for the moment. So I've gone off track a little bit, but here's where it gets incredible. Okay, so the angels maps oh, lead to the mine, but right in the centre of the mine, just below the false light boot of Rome, the boot that stamps you down, but shining the light at the same time, just underneath is a little island here called Palmer. The Al Mallorca, right in the middle of the mine. Well, just to show you how incredible this is, we will, what we do is we follow a map. There's, there's more than one map. I've got all these angels' maps basically that are created through coordinates, and they all all tie up and make 
the, as you'll see, make sense. Also, the, the main ones starting from the K-E-Y, Canaan, Egypt, and, and Judea. But this is, in fact, an anagram, and this is where it becomes incredibly, well, it's just mind-blowing how clever this is. And this was all set up before I was born, so we chose the only person that could do this is the creator himself. My pain's going a bit, dying a bit, but M, A, uh, R, C, uh, O, Marco, L, E, uh, A, D, A, L, L, N, uh, sorry, it's, it's not Palmer, it's Palmer, let all, uh, oh yeah, ma uh, maps, M, A, P, and uh, lead, that's right, sorry, that back up because I have to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, twenty-eleven, twenty-twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, twenty-eleven, twenty-twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, twenty-eleven, twenty-twelve, thirteen, f
<laughs> Joking Boaz, I already know what these means. I just don't, I'm not going to release it yet because I don't feel that I've got the complete code of it, but I, I know where, I know, I know pretty much what it means. But let's, let me get the right, the full decode down before I release it. But as you can see, and incidentally, I was born, like I said, oh, well, I don't know if I've said it, but my birthday is June the 30th, 1970, which is, I am a son of the moon sign, born in Cancer. I'm the G, G ad, me, in Scion. Scion being the, the sign, obviously the sign on is the gin as well, so that takes you to the gin in the snare of Jerusalem, and it's also the sign you read, or the Israelite. There's more code to come to this, but, but as you'll see, beyond coincidence. But the, the, this is a quick quick breakdown of, of, of something amazing. And yeah, June the 30th is obviously the star sign Cancer. So I am the one that was meant to decode this, being a son, of the moon sign in Cancer, being the Gad and the Simeon, or the G Adni Sion Sayuri, born in Cancer, and I also use Cancer to unlock, as I say, the way the Ark of the Covenant is, and also gives you the combination to the safe area or the safe code. This is very, very clever, which is all founded around a <laughs> ancient hill fort that the Sayuri U that, that we're, we're in, which is which is what is which would be biblically Hebron. Hebron is Brehon as well. Well, Brehon is Brehon law, which is known to, or said to be Celtic, maybe whatever, but it's not. It, is, it, it, it comes from the Israelite law, or the, it, the, what we know as the Israelites, and it is the place of the law. And it's Hebron, Hebron, and it's also Carmel. It's the Ark at Melin. Ark at, uh, again, I'm not, I'll just leave it at this for now, just so I can take a break and I'll, I'll, I'll move on on the next video. And I just. Hope this is starting to enlighten you and show you that there really is a creator. There is no no coincidence. That this is all planned and all written it, written where it said it's written. Catch you on the next video.